Hi everyone, my name is Joselito A. Dolot and I'm one of the faculty of the College of Computer Studies at LPU Batangas. Today I'd like to present my study with the title Employment Status of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology Graduates of Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas. For the introduction, Lyceum of the Philippines University is an educational institution that responds to the fast-changing demands of the information technology. The demand for computer specialists prompted the institution to offer courses in information technology. The College of Computer Studies, which was the name Institute of Computer Studies, was founded last June 1989. The college started from 17 students in the Bachelor of Science in Information and Computer Science program. The college now offers three programs, such as BSCS, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, major in Mobile Application Development, and game development, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, BSI, major in Multimedia Technologies and Digital Animation, and, and ACT, Associate in Computer Technology. It is the main task of the college to develop an IT curriculum field that caters to the needs of the industry by providing graduates who are globally competitive and equipped with the necessary IT knowledge and skills. One of the objectives of the institution is to determine the employability of the status of computer science graduate locally and abroad. The management also aims to provide the industry with the graduates who are well equipped with the knowledge and skills. This study is a follow-up study to, the, to determine the employment status of BS Information Technology graduates of LP Batangas. Determines and assesses the effectiveness and the relevance of BSIT curricula, knowledge, skills, and work values acquired by the graduates to their employment, identify the personal and professional characteristics and job placement of computer science graduate, and the school-related factors associated with their employment. The findings of the study serve as the basis of the researcher to improve, update, or enhance the curricula of BSIT program to make this more responsive to the needs of fast-changing technology and employment demands. For the methods and materials, so research design, in the context of this study, descriptive method method of research was considered appropriate. The researcher carried out this research by observing several accepted procedures. Along with this, emphasized that descriptive research is a purposive process of gathering, analyzing, classifying, and tabulating data about the prevailing condition, practices, beliefs, process, trends, and cause and effect relationship, thereby making adequate and accurate interpretations about such as data with or without the aid of a statistical method. With the respondent of the study, the study used non-probability sampling of subject. In this sampling design, the researcher sent the questionnaire to 134 BSIT graduates and only 53 questionnaire from the graduates of, from the graduates were retrieved with only 40% of retrieval rating. Regarding with the data gathering instrument, survey questionnaire was the main instrument of the study. The questionnaire consists of four parts, general information, educational background, trainings, advanced studies attended after college, and employment data. The survey questionnaire was distributed during the, sem the seminar conducted by the research center. The research center provided the survey questionnaire for this study. Some parts of the instrument were modified to become more suitable to the nature of employment of the respondent. Data gathering procedure were names, address, and telephone, cellular phone numbers of the graduates obtained from the placement and alumni office. The researcher administered personally by sending email message to the graduate respondent using social media to inform with the corresponding online form made in Google form made the research feasible. First, permission to conduct the research was immediately solicited by the researcher after the presentation and approval of the research proposal by the research committee. Second, prepare and validate questionnaire were sent to the graduates through email, snail mail, and other means of delivery. A letter was attached to the questionnaire to inform the respondent about the study and assure them about the confidentiality of the data. Third, the answered questionnaire were retrieved by the researcher. Fourth, numerical analysis in the gathered data was performed. Fifth, consolidations of the significant findings in the answer to the question were considered. Lastly, the proposed measure to enhance the competitiveness of graduates of BSIT program were prepared. For the data analysis, the data collected were classified, tabulated, and coded for analysis. The following statistical tools were employed in interpreting the data. 
that were obtained from the survey. First, percentage was used to analyze the profile of the respondents with respect to the selective variable. Second, weighted mean was used to determine the degree of perception of the graduate respondent in the usefulness and relevance of their educational background to their employment status. And number three, rank was used to arrange in a series of ascending or descending order of importance. So the researcher ranked the items in ascending order. Ranking reinforced the description of percentage. It show, showed that the position importance of the item used. For the discussion, as you can see from table number one, majority of the respondents stay in their work in one month to six months. One or two years on their job enable them to work with their colleagues, apply their knowledge and skills, and develop their confidence to further cultivate, nurture, and foster their skills. The least stayed with the same percentage in 7 to 11 months and 3 years to 4 years while they look for other companies where they can apply, practice, and enhance their skills. Salaries, benefits, and career challenge are some of the reasons for changing their job. They were looking for other companies where they can apply their knowledge and skills which will give them competitive compensation and benefits. It can be gleaned from Table 2 that the greater percentage of 71.69% or 38 respondents are employed in professional, technical, and supervisory level. They are the one followed by 24.52% or 13 respondents in rank of clerical and no one from the respondent is managerial or executive and unemployed. With regards to their present employment, the greater percentage of the respondent is working in professional, technical, and even supervisory level. They supervise a group of employees to perform their tasks. They usually provide administrative and technical supervision necessary for accomplishing the work of the unit or department where they belong. Others are performing significant responsibilities in dealing with officials or other units or organization and in advising manage management official or higher rank some work or being assigned to do clerical jobs. In table number three, most of the respondents are working with the employment status of regular or permanent. With regards to their nature of employment, majority were gainfully employed. They are working in the company as IT consultant, system analyst, web developer, system developer, network, or even technical support in the IT department. Other respondents, though they are working and use computer application, they didn't consider themselves as underemployed. Seldom they put their own business. It can be gleaned from Table 4 that the employment employed respondents found that information technology skills with 27 or 50.94% were very much useful in finding the job, followed by the communication skills with 13 or 24.52 percent, followed with the same percentage of human relation skills and problem solving skills with 5 or 9.43 percent, then 2 or 3.77 percent for critical thinking, and at least is entrepreneurial skill with 1 or 1.88 percent. The research found that the two most common approaches to skill development have been either be embed skills within degree courses or to offer students parallel or standalone courses. There are, however, wide difference between different subject areas in the provision of these skills development opportunities as well as their perceptions of employability in terms of information technology studies. Employers of graduates from these areas taught mainly their specialist knowledge and as a result, the main employability focus of this course is on subject specialism. All the computer science departments surveyed, however, are making efforts to introduce generic employability related modules to counteract excessive subject specialization. Table 5, all of the work related values were found very much useful in meeting the demands of their present job. Love of God, honesty and love for truth, unity, punctuality, hard work, fairness and justice, efficiency, leadership were the most very much as perceived by the respondents. According to them, these are the values that are really helped them continue to pursue their dreams. By meeting the demands of their work, others were also found very much useful. Nationalism, love for co-workers and others. Obedience to superior and tolerance were the least very much useful in the list. The proposed student development program is focused on developing the student capability to obtain job-related information technology. In terms of graduates, employability aims to build long-term relationships Relationship with industrial companies where information technology graduates from LPUB can be considered as priority in hiring employees and as the partner industry for any academic scholarship where student after graduation could be directly employed. It also aimed to enhance the knowledge, attitude, and skills of the student through getting them involved in the seminar, workshop, educational tour, and extensive trainings on language proficiency. Leadership, capability, and values formation related to the work environment as well as their technical aspect related to their respective discipline. For the conclusion and recommendation, so the conclusion 
Question 1. Majority of the uh, IT graduate respondents are presently employed. Work they acquired is related to the course completed. The length of time in searching for job is one of the is one to six months and stayed in the first job in one or two years. So one or two years for the other job enables them to work with their colleagues, apply their knowledge and skills, and develop their confidence to further cultivate, nurture, foster their skills. The job they assume belongs to different levels of position. Most of them were working in professional, technical, and supervisory level, belonging to the middle level management. Work related values gained by the graduates, such as love for God, honesty, and love for truth, unity, punctuality, hard work, were found to be very relevant in the practice of professional, which also core values of LP. The proposed student program may be implemented and evaluated to determine its effectiveness. For continuous as the recommendation based on the aforementioned conclusion the following recommendation were made the administration of the college may give ample time for graduating student must be given ample time to practice answering pre-employment examination and interviews they should be provided with activity or program that will enhance the capability of the student to take pre-employment examination the college administration and faculty competency skills and work related values may always be strengthened since these are very much useful to their employment the college program may focus on academic development employment opportunities and enhancing leadership capabilities of computer science students as well as faculty members. All department heads personnel in the university must be aware of their contribution either direct or indirect to the development of each individual student to become positioned with good character and attitude. The college may ensure that the proposed program may be folded by discussion, implementation, and evaluation thereof. Future researchers may be follow up related studies with emphasis on other valuable counted in the study. And these are the references that I use on my study.